Hey everyone, it's Caleb. In this video, I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever looked at programming and told yourself that there's way too much to learn? If you feel like you cannot keep up in the software industry, you are not alone. Personally, I can't tell you how many times I decide I'm gonna take programming seriously. I start studying everything I can. I get discouraged, overwhelmed, burnt out, and then I quit. And a few weeks go by, I get excited again, and I go through this whole process over and over and over again. And honestly, it's quite exhausting. If you feel this way, it's the information overload that's keeping you from success. But I wanted to tell you that you can do it. You just need a different learning framework. Not like a JavaScript framework, <laughs> nothing else to learn. Don't worry, this is gonna be simple. Some people will tell you, oh, you need a college degree to be successful in software engineering. Other people will say you need to study 80 plus hours a week. And I'm here to tell you, both of these are a lie. If you're still watching this, then I know you have the dream of being successful at software engineering and really understanding how code works. We're all a little bit different, but this is going to work for anybody. So if you're a beginner trying to get that first software engineering job, or maybe you're an intermediate and you just need to refine your skills and figure out how to get that career jump you've been wanting, or if you're an entrepreneur, how can you learn the extra technical skills to set you apart from everybody else trying to compete? Personally, I've been learning programming for about 10 years. I started early in high school, but every single year it was a love-hate relationship where I never really felt like I knew what I was doing. Even in my development jobs, I always felt like I just could not keep up with everyone else. This all changed this year when things finally clicked. In fact, I was able to learn a new programming language to me, Python, at a depth more than any language up to this point. So I pretty much achieved more in this one year than the last 10 years of my programming journey. How is it that in one year I got more results than I did in 10 years? And I can tell you up front, it's not about how many hours I put into studying. In fact, I studied programming less this year than last year and every year before. Instead, it was my approach to learning that made me 10 times more effective, and this could be repeated for any other programming language that I need to learn in the future. It's actually about how you learn. Being on the right learning path is going to help you become a better software engineer faster. In other words, you have to learn the right things, the right way, in the right order. If you're doing these three things, you're going to make more progress than you have ever done before. So at the end of last year, I decided I was tired of going through this loop of trying to learn to code, getting defeated, and I decided I was going to completely change the way I learned programming. I decided to put this to the test by learning a fairly new language to me, Python, and I learned more about Python in just a few months than any language I have ever studied up to that point. I'm gonna share exactly the steps I followed to make this happen, but I wanted to warn you that the approach is counterintuitive to most people, but if you're one of the few people that actually apply it, you will be successful. Now, if you think about it, the way most people learn software development is they make some claim like, hey, I'm gonna be a software engineer, and then they start learning everything they can to get them to that goal. They buy a bunch of books, they buy some 60 hour Udemy courses, and the intentions are pure, but most people don't get the results that they actually want. The problem with this approach to learning is that they've fallen for a common myth that plagues pretty much anyone who wants to learn software development. And this is one of the three big myths that I'm gonna share with you in this video. The first myth is that anything you learn is going to help you get closer to your goal of being a software engineer or just advancing your skills. Why is this a myth? At first, it makes sense, right? The more you know, the better the software developer you're going to be. But you have to realize that your brain is only capable of learning so much each day. And if you try to force too much into your brain, your retention rate starts to decrease. So if you approach becoming a software engineer with the thought that you're going to learn everything, well, that actually takes away a lot of potent brain power you should be directing at learning the most important things, the things that actually get you a job as a software engineer and give you a successful career. In other words, when you try to learn everything, you're actually preventing yourself from learning the most important thing. Now you might object and say that learning all these different frameworks and languages is going to make a more versatile developer. However, let me ask you a question. Who do you think would be more successful? A person who studied Python deeply for 12 months straight or a person who studied 12 different languages for a month each. My personal belief is that the person who deeply studies one language is going to have a better understanding of how to use programming languages to solve real world problems. The person that studied 12 programming languages 
yeah, they might have a good taste of all the different languages out there, but they're not going to know how to apply any of these because their knowledge is going to be so shallow. Plus, this person who's developed a really deep knowledge of Python is going to be very easily able to transfer that knowledge over to a new language if they need to. So I've just debunked the myth that to be a better software engineer, you need to study more things. Instead, you need to study less. Isn't that a relief? The second myth that's preventing you from achieving your goals in software engineering is believing that the tech is the most important thing. Rather, it's the life transformation that the tech can provide for the people that need it. That seems obvious, but you might not even realize you're doing this. When you say, hey, I wanna be a better developer, you immediately think of the different technologies or programming languages that you need to learn to be a better developer. This myth, the myth that the programming language is what truly matters is why you're jumping from one language to another language to a new framework and you can't actually focus on solving any real world problems. This makes you pretty much useless in the software engineering world. This means that if you only know one programming language but you know how to take this language and apply it to real world problems, you're going to be 10 times more valuable than any other software engineer who just knows syntax. You might argue this and say that understanding your tools helps you fix more problems, but a true engineer looks at the problem and asks, how can I solve this? And then can learn any tool needed to fix that problem. Now don't misunderstand me here. I teach programming, so yes, learning the tools is important, but you need to understand that any programming language is going to have a plethora of different capabilities and features that are also going to be available in other programming languages as well. So it's important you understand how to use these different capabilities to solve problems. So this is great news. Continuing off of the previous myth that you need to know everything, I just reinforce this by saying, hey, you only need to learn one or two tools and figure out how to solve real world problems. Stop focusing on the tools and instead focus on the solutions. The final myth is that the way you learn a programming language really doesn't matter. It can come from any source and in any order, as long as you're getting a little bit of practice each day. Instead, I like to consider building skills like building a skyscraper. You don't just build a skyscraper on accident, you know, starting with the roof and then the walls and then the foundation and then the windows. No, you start with the foundation and you build upon this foundation one layer at a time in a sequential order. And that makes sense. The next layer is just one step away and you keep going one step higher. When you jump around from learning SQL in a book to a Python Udemy course to who knows what's next, you're actually giving your brain whiplash and you're not going to retain the information as well. Instead, you should prioritize learning as much as you can from one source in a sequential order. When you learn things in the right order, it actually helps lock in the previous information which helps you retain everything you learn. So to reiterate, the way in which you study programming is very important. So that was a lot of information, so let me try to sum it up with a quick question. If you focused on learning the most important things to solve real world problems, and you learned things following a organized learning pathway, don't you think you would be a better software engineer? Going through this process and figuring out the best way to learn took me a year of experimenting with Python. However, if someone told me this from the start, I think I could have learned that information in a month. The path wasn't always clear as I was walking through it, but looking back, I know exactly what was important and what I should have focused on. Knowing this information a year ago, that could have saved me a lot of time just searching the web, compiling information, trying to build apps. And I wanna save you the same amount of time by giving you a curriculum that brought me from knowing pretty much nothing in Python to it being my most proficient language. I can't show you the effectiveness of this approach to learning in just one video, but it's used throughout the entire program and it's called Python Bootcamp. So if you're ready to go from I can't to I am, then Python Bootcamp is the course that's going to be your shortest path from beginner to Python engineer. So not only does this course teach you Python, but it teaches you the learning framework you can then apply to any programming language you need to learn in the future. You might be asking yourself, is this course for me? Well, we have modules for the basics, the advanced, and then applied Python in web development and machine learning. Regardless of your experience level, this course is for you. You just have to decide that you're ready to commit and you're tired of wasting your time. Without this course, sure, you could go buy a 60 hour Udemy course or a bunch of books, 
but this stuff's really not going to add a lot of value to your life. And you're going to have to sift through many hours of content. Or join me for Python Bootcamp and potentially save hundreds of dollars and hundreds of hours that you'd be wasting on a ton of other resources scattered across the internet. Now, according to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, the median salary for a Python engineer in the United States is 120,000. So this course is not only going to help you save money, but actually earn a lot more money in a career that is fulfilling and pretty lucrative. Now, if you're watching this on the live premiere, I have a coupon code LAUNCH, and if you use that in the next 15 minutes, you'll get 15% off of the course. After 15 minutes, I'm disabling that coupon, and if you are still not sure, I have a bonus for you. When you enroll in Python Bootcamp, not only do you get 10 hours of focused training, but you also get early access to my upcoming course, Python Projects. This will be the most applied course I have ever created, and it's designed to take the principles from Python Bootcamp and apply them to even more projects, so by the end of the course, you'll have a complete portfolio of Python projects that you can show to any potential employer. This is something that's going to be launched sometime next year. So when you get early access to this course, you'll get each project as I build them. Now back to Python Bootcamp, this course is only going to be available for a week from the launch of this video. So it's going to close on the last day of November, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. At that point, the course will be closed and it won't be open again until I finish Python projects.